Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the third in a series of video tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so firstly, I must apologise for the amount of time it has taken for me to bring you this third episode. Uh, between me doing my other Unity tutorials and me also trying to start up uh, the Retro Lookback channel, it's taken away most of my time from Unreal Engine 4 to actually do anything. So I thought I should finally sit down and actually do the third episode for you guys. Uh, secondly, uh, I've seen quite a few comments and I've also received a few messages from people asking about um, whether Unreal Engine 4 actually requires a powerful PC. I would say ideally yes. For it to function quickly and effectively, yes, you would need a somewhat powerful machine. But um, I would think the minimum sort of specs you could probably run this engine on is uh, probably 6 gig RAM, uh, maybe 1.9 gigahertz processor, ideally quad core, I would think, um, and preferably at least Windows 7. So you're looking at either Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10 you're going to need one of them to run this effectively. Okay, so that aside, uh, this episode we're going to be looking at um, some content. We're going to be looking at some materials down here, some props, and we'll just have a play around with different things here and see what we can come up with. Okay, so first off, down here, we have our content browser. And we're going to go to this here, where it says Start a Content. Everything we're going to use is packed within the installer of Unreal Engine 4, so you don't need to download anything or import anything. Everything we're going to use in this tutorial is available within the uh, engine itself. So if you go to Materials, and you'll notice all these materials appear here. So when you first come here, it may take just a second to uh, load everything up. It may take longer than I would like, but hopefully it shouldn't take you guys too long. So if we go to here, we can do a quick search for any materials that we want. So let's start with the floor. So let's type in floor. And as you can see, we come up with three results. Um, let's choose let's let's choose this one here. So it's just a case of dragging and dropping onto your object. There we go. So now you can see we have a nice kind of walnut wooden coloured floor. That looks okay. I quite like that. Okay, so let's clear our filter. So let's delete that. And let's have a look what else we have. So this appears to be inside. So but I'm not going to worry too much about what the walls look like. So let's choose one of these walls here. Let's see. Let's see what this one looks like. So again, drag and drop onto your object. It can be a bit slow at times. There we go. Not fantastic. But we're now texturing things. We're now making our world actually look more like a world. So let's apply this onto this here. And as you can see, this now does appear different than this. The reason is because this is actually different. If you notice here, we actually uh, duplicated our floor to make this particular wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of this room. Uh, let's do the same one over here. Oops. Was a bit mad there. Okay, so do each wall one by one. Okay. So, this here. Hmm. Let's have a play with this. Let's randomly try this one. That looks strange. I quite like that. But it's not good for a wall. So, let's just put this one on. Oh, and again, that's twice within a minute I've done that one. Silly me. Let's 
be careful when you're dragging and dropping, otherwise things like that do happen. Okay, so my, I think my mouse is misbehaving, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to leave that like that for now. Of course, you can texture it however you want to. So I'm now going to move outside and have a look around here. So what we'll do now is let's build some of the outside. So if you remember correctly, if you select the floor just here, hold Alt and then pull. And that duplicates your floor. So I'm going to put this, uh, let's see, about there I think. So let's have a look down here. Um, let's choose this cobblestone here. And let's drag and drop onto there. Let's pull it up very slightly. It's a bit far. Let's change this here. Let's change this to one. Hopefully, that brings it nice and smooth to about there. Now, let's change that back to 50. Okay, so now we have the outside of our wall. Uh, sorry, the outside of our house, and we've kind of got our pavement going on here. So let's uh, let's duplicate this again this way. Hold Alt, remember, and we'll do it to there. That looks fine just there. Okay, so we have a little bit of space outside now. Um, let's see. Let's put um, let's put this clay brick on our roof. There we go. Okay, so we're, we're now starting to make it look a little better. So let's see what else we've got here. So if you remember, we also uh, hold L and click to make a light. So let's put that just there for now. But you can also go to here, light, and drag and drop from here. So let's uh, let's put in a directional light you'll see that illuminates everything quite like that directional light so let's go down let's have a look down here do we really need a directional light mm. let's have the rotation so if you click here and then hold your mouse and you can rotate as you wish Do Y. Okay, so I think we'll have it facing that way. There we go. That looks okay. So this wall here needs to be textured. So let's try doing this brick again. That'll do just fine. Obviously, you can play with it as much as you want. Have a, a play around, see what you come up with. So next thing we'll do, let's go down here to props. And let's see what we have here. So we have a few different things. Uh, let's see. Let's put this rock in. So just drag and drop onto your scene. Just give it a second just to um, just to think. So realistically, all props are are like assets that you can bring into your scene. At, at any point. It's not necessarily uh, materials or textures or cubes or, or anything like that. So you can have your rock there. And then let's go into materials and ooh, I don't know just because we feel like it let's put a random material on. Uh, let's change the material. Let's put embush onto it. doesn't seem to want oh we have to wait for this here when this happens this can actually take quite a while so I think for now we'll skip trying to put uh, anything on our rock but there is a random rock right there um, I'll tell you what let's go inside our, um, our little housey thing whatever you want to call it it's very strange isn't it and Let's just put one of these chairs in. So SM chair, 
let's take it and put it in. Give it just a second again to think about it. And as I said, props are uh, all these props are kind of included within, and it just makes everything so much easier realistically. So let's change the rotation uh, of this chair, and let's change it to let's make it face us. So let's change it to ninety. There we go. That looks fine. So hopefully, let's try and put in this one now. So let's bring this into our scene about there. And let's turn this one around 180 degrees. So type there, 180. There we go. And you'll notice that these are not actually textured just yet. Ideally, you could do with waiting for this to actually complete. Again, the faster the computer you have, the quicker it will do it. Um, it all comes back to having the right um, the right sort of computer which can handle Unreal 4. Mine can handle it, but it, it's not perfect at the moment. So while we wait for this, let's also put in uh, let's put in a a wall lamp. Give it a moment to think about it again. It's thinking. It's thinking. Again, this is a little bit of information there. So let's put the wall lamp just there. Um, I think we could do with rotating that a little. Yes. So let's play around with the rotation. So we need to change the y axis to 90. Will that be okay? So I'm going to pull this out a little bit so we can oops so we can actually see a little better. Try this. So let's change the uh, change this to 90. See if that's not brilliant. We don't want it sideways, do we? That would just be daft. Just play around. Ooh. Play around with the rotation until you get it exactly how you want. So mine is now upside down. It's very, very strange, but never mind. So, yes, I have an upside down lamp, and I feel like being weird, so we're going to have an upside down lamp. You'll also notice that uh, everything is finished now, and things are textured accordingly. So we have a nice yellow sort of couch and a nice yellow chair, both props. Let's have a quick look out here at our rock. As you can see, our rock is now textured. It looks a bit more like a rock. Would you believe it? Uh, so let's see what all the props we've got which come built in. Um, it's just a few different things that you can obviously play around with. So let's try bringing in this bush. Let's put it here. Let's bring another one in. Put it there. And maybe another one. How about there? Okay, so let's see what else we can do. Let's have a look over here. Visual effects. Have we got anything interesting that we can go into here? Let's have a quick look. So there's all our um, basic shapes that we we, uh, we put in. Uh, let's just have a look around. Let's see what we've got. Uh, so we can put a camera in, but there's no point really at the moment. Uh, what have we got in the basics? So we can also select a player start. So we can define where our player wants to begin, but I think it's best to keep it where he is for now. Uh, we could also paint if we wanted to, but we'll leave that for another tutorial. Right, next thing we'll do is we will... Uh, let's play more around inside. Now, effectively, you could put every single one of these steps differently. You could put a brick step, and then you could put a weird... 
I really need to stop doing that, don't I? You can put a multicolored step kind of weird thing there. It's just loading itself again. Just give it a second to think about it. I must apologize. My machine is being very, very slow today. Uh, well, we could. Let's put one as a floor. Let's put this as the floor. So you can have different ones, different uh, on each step. It's up to you. I mean, realistically, do we really want these steps? No, I don't think we want these steps, do we? Tell you what, let's delete them steps. We only put them in just as a quick little, uh, ooh, let's have a look. Um, in all honesty, I think um, what we really need to do before we go any further is if you have a good play around with uh, the props, uh, materials, and just have a general look around. You'll be able to see we have different things over here. We also have shapes that you can input. They're not particularly interesting, but um, let's see if we can input this. Just here. Like I say, different shapes. Let's bring this up to ground level. Let's just input these random little shapes just to see what we get. Have a play around. And when we get to the next episode, we're going to look a lot more into uh, all these different assets we have. We can uh, import new stuff, and um, I think we also need to play around with lighting a bit more. But our main focus is to start building outside and see what we can do. So if we press play, you can see we're starting to get somewhere now. Yeah, so he starts to look a little bit more like a game. Not perfect, but it is starting to look a bit better. So, um, we'll leave this tutorial there for now. Um, as I say, Unreal Engine at this point can become a little bit slow if you haven't got a quick enough machine. As we found out in this tutorial, my machine isn't as quick as I, was li I would like it to be. I think we'll do with upgrading the RAM to be honest. I only have 6 gig, so I should really upgrade. So that's what I should probably do before the next tutorial. So until then, uh, as I say, just have a good play around, see what you can find material wise, um, see what applying each material to each different uh, object does, and just make a, a game how you want it to look right now. Play around with the lights, put different bushes in, put rocks in. It is entirely up to you. So until next time, uh, thank you very much for watching.